Hey everyone, this is WerewoodWin91. Welcome back to Let's Play Infamous 2. In the last episode... You know what? I get the strangest feeling that I've said Second Son a few times. Anyway, in the last episode, we took out a gunboat. And we took out a bunch of street performers. Basically side missions. Oh yeah, and we found out about blast shard bombs. Anyway, now it's time for Wolf Hunt. Alright, I'm in position above the casino. Let me know when our guy's on the move. Might be a while. He's still doing pretty well at the table. Okay, he's on the move. Stay out of sight. Once I find where they're keeping Wolf, I'm gonna get him out. I've appropriated one of the malicious trucks. All right, just to make sure you're on the grind rails. Stealing cars illegal. Section 150 of the Federal Penal Code stipulates that a law enforcement officer is authorized to commandeer a civilian vehicle in order to catch a suspect, escapee, or prevent a crime. <laughs> Penal Code. <laughs> oh my god, seriously, Cole? That's not something you would have joked about in Infamous 1. There you go. More evidence that they totally revamped Cole's personality in this game. Like, he was all broody and such in Infamous 1, but here in 2, oh no, he is freaking jokester. No, no, I'm here. I'm here. I'm here. He's on, he's on camp. He's in the shot. Anyway, we can see him well from here. Don't know how he the doesn't look suspicious. The interrogator is heading the tan house on 8th Street. Ooh, getting a vehicle out of that area won't be easy. The militia set up roadblocks all along the canal. Roadblock. Hey, you head in get wolf. Gone. Up the roadblock. Oh, hey, hey, you have a rocket. Could you fire that again? Nope. All right, there we go. Graviton blast stunt complete. Throw a grenade in there. Damn it! What? No! I was trying to get to that! Screw you. Why can't you die from that? Honestly. Let's just absorb some electricity. I need a faster fire rate. Hold on. First word box clear. I'm headed for the second. Good. I'm almost in the house. Holy shit, what the hell was that? Oh my. Explosions and weird noises. What's going on? Yeah. Everyone, meet the Ravager. Here's your strat. Wait. Uh, hold on. That camera is being really finicky. Hey, man. I hate the militia too. Oh God, camera bliss. All right, so we need to fire off. At fire off. Wait, hold on. 10,066. Damn it. Ugh. One of the best strategies against Ravagers is to stick them with sticky grenades, but I don't have sticky grenades yet. So I need to be contented with just shooting the guy. Damn it. This will be a chore. I mean, at the very least, normal grenades work, but that makes it a bit harder. So let's try fighting this guy. Ow! Won't lie, pretty difficult without the sticky bombs. But I'll show off the strategy later once I actually have sticky bombs.
Screw you. Ow, ow, stop it. You don't combo me. I combo you. Whoa. Okay, he sent me propels skyward. Alright, come on. Energy! Oh, hello. No, oh, that's a bit too far. Over here, man. Or, you know. Alright, here we go. Alright, just a bit more. Would you die? Die! Big ass, filthy mole monsters. But once, I am not the biggest freak in town. Yeah. Cole, I got Wolf. We're moving for the truck. I'll see you there. You're gonna wanna hurry. I think we tripped the alarm on the way out. God damn it, Quo. Alright, well, we need to get over there, so. Come on, let's here's go the get getaway the vehicle. Dr. Wolf, glad you're still in one piece. More or less. Bertrand's interrogation methods can be quite creative. He tortured you? What did you tell them? Hey, we need to go. Plenty of time for talk later. All right, here we go. Vehicle escort mission, because these are so fun in the first game, right? Bertrand? Just put a grenade Keep there. Him away from us. Oh, there's the Ravager's body. Anyway, let's keep moving on. Stop it. Let's just destroy your support. You just crashed. What the hell? These guys are drunk. Oh yeah, also, keep in mind, you don't matter. You have a generator on the car, just like in the first game that has pretty much infinite energy. So you'll be fine. You just need to worry about the car. Fortunately, we don't have the sticky bombs, which would be so helpful. Ah, come on. Damn it. Alpha bolts don't reach far enough for that. Whoa! Explosive tank. Did not get that. Oh well. Alright, so far the car is only lightly damaged. That's a good sign, I'd say. Come on. Uh, let's try the magnet bolt then. Instantaneously gets to the target. Always welcome. Let's throw a grenade right there. Woo! Nice kill is nice. Oh yeah. I also have health. Anyway, we seem to be doing all right so far. Whoa, explosion. Okay, Wolf. Agents put a lot of effort into making you dead. 
What do you say <laughs> don't want you talking about? What a way to put it, Cole. What a way to put it. For him. A device that would solve both our problems. The blast course would just start. Oh shit. We've got them in front of us. Oh god, they're not turning. thing is the militia carried Quo away, but at least she was alive. Wolf? He was gone. And without him to guide me to more blast cores, I won't be far behind. Hell, at that point, just crawling my way into the storm drain was a trial. That thing from Empire City, I could feel it. It's coming for me. Now I got no way to fight back. Well, damn. That's a bummer. So, Wolf's dead. Who's been taken by the militia? Lovely. Oh, God. She has the conduit gene, too. What are they going to do to her? But anyway, that's Wolf incomplete. Just take a look at that map. Cole! Cole! You there? Yeah. What the hell happened? Militia got Quo. And Wolf's dead. Dead? Look, man. I don't really feel like talking right now. Oh. I'll see you later. Ah, man. Don't shut out your friend like that. Friend that... Honestly, shouldn't be friends anymore, but... You know, this game was written with the intention of being a month, not a month ahead, but rather like at least like about a year ahead, I'd say. But oh well. We saved a mugging. Hey, man. I think I stumbled onto some good news. Come on by when you get a chance. Alright, so now we've got this story mission. Desperate times. But, we've got a few side missions as well. So, we could go... I think the best route is going to be to go here to changing the channel. I went a bit out of my way, but... Ah, well. Ooh, Blast Shard. Alright, so let's head over there. I can see it in the distance already. Hi, Militia. Bye, Militia. Oh, hey, one of them's still alive. Just had to clean up the mess. Alright, we're about we're at about thirteen minutes. That's alright. Let's just scale this building. Does it have a little vertical launch pole? Yes it does. Sweet. Always look for the vertical launch poles. They make life much easier while you're playing Infamous 2. Nothing but Bertrand propaganda. Whew, that's crap. Let's show these folks some real entertainment. Disable a few TV dishes around there, and I should be able to hack the feed. Alright, so now it's time to just drain a few satellites. First one is right over here. Nothing special to it, all you gotta do is hold down L2. Right, next one. Oh, hey, we're finally on the tower. Who'd have thunk we'd actually get here because of a side mission rather than just a grinding session? Anyway, let's get that. I 
feel like I could get this. Uh, it's all the way up there. But I'm gonna go get it because I'm already here. Climbing up the skimpily clad lady. Okay, seriously, where is it? Oh, found it. And just while I'm up here, last one is... Last one is over here. Very good. And we've got a blast shard bomb. Let's go cover that. My commentary is not being very diverse and interesting. I realize this now. I realize it now. But um, all we're doing is just traveling from building the building and draining these TV antennas, the TV satellites. The end result is pretty funny, but more on that once we finally get to it. For now, let's just head on over here. Whoop! Alright, and one more. It's over there. We've got a lot of militia guys on this one building. I'm going to go take them out. Hopefully. I mean, I could fail, like, massively. Especially if they notice me from here. Ow! Ah, that was a rocket to the face. Okay, and we're back, and oh god, they're fucking... They're back as well. Why do I even bother? May ask? Easy. Because I'm an idiot. Alright, let's see how I can take these guys on. Hi. Bye. Let's switch to the Alpha Bolt. Thankfully, I've got this nice barricade right here. Right, looks like we've got one more. Hi. Bye. <laughs> I should do more than just count. I know. Is it just gonna be the second session that's always the one with shit commentary? I feel like that's gonna be what it is. The second right. recording session. Get closer to the screen so you can watch me work my magic. Alright, Zeke, but hold on. I am going to disarm a bomb. Give me your energy. All right, now let's go in front of the TV. Here I am, Zeke. Almost got it. Just a few more wires. Press play. We are live. Oh, what the hell is this? Ha! You remember this? Now that's entertainment. What the hell am I watching? What? <laughs> okay. Oh, but now we get a news a report, ago, but thankfully that plays in the corner. On American soil occurred in Oops. First, I'm gonna put this Hometown on the waypoint. Empire City. What began as a series of alleged explosions soon escalated into citywide devastation. And what is now being called the Empire event. Today, Empire City lies in ruins. No official numbers have been released, but the latest estimates put the death toll in the millions. The nation mourns, and we are all left craving answers. What caused this sudden destruction? Is the United States under attack? 
NSA Director Houston is leading an official investigation into the Empire event, but says their findings so far have been inconclusive. As a precaution, the what the hell is going on in that video? On high alert, and thousands of troops have been recalled from overseas to respond to the crisis. Whether the threat comes from terrorist extremists or some new kind of natural phenomenon, one thing is clear. The threat is ongoing and continues to move southward along the east coast, leaving a path of devastation wherever it goes. Why is every TV playing that? There's just like a TV right there that's playing it. There's all those jumbo TVs that are playing it as soon as Zeke was hacking into it. I don't know. Anyway, trick photography. Hey, uh, you still have that camera, right? There's a few buildings in the red line district I'd like to have on file. Hi, guys. Whoa. Whoa, not cool. Not cool, man. Don't ambush me while I can't do anything. No. Stay down. Okay. Let's get moving. Take a picture of the following. The front of the Sin Tower and the Hush or Plex Theater. Alright. Too far out of the way. Here is the Sin Tower. Oh, come on. Move up. Move down. Aim camera down. Move down. Move up. Perfect. Alright, that was none of the above, but okay. And, okay, let's read this. Assassins need. Hey, low reach. No need for speed. Epic hickey. Little big unit. Latchet and skank and fly! Oh, the references. Good job, Sucker Punch. You know how to make references. We got monsters and militia at it again. Hey, this is a golden opportunity to study these monsters in action. Alright, so first we needed that picture of a helicopter. Now we need a picture of this Ravager as it rushes forward. Awfully off frame, but, you know. Let's just defeat this guy. Come on. And... Take the shot. Alright, last things are last, but first I want to get the sticky grenade so that I can show you how to take care of this Ravager once we get to it. First, let's take care of these guys. Hey, I hear a helicopter. Ah, doesn't. Oh, Lord, that's not good. Okay, come on. We're making good damage because of this, but it's also making good damage on us. Ah, Jesus Christ. If you don't mash the fuck out of it, it kills you, so... Oh, hello. You're down here. So this guy won't take as much damage... As, last, as the last helicopter. Thankfully, because since you could just pretty much encounter these any time. Oh, God damn it! What?! Get over here. Alright. Stick him a lot. Look at that, he's already so far down. It does take up a lot. Oh god! Mash the fuck out of that button! Die! Thank you! Okay, now for you. Let's just go with Magnum Bolt. Unfortunately, nothing else I have will reach it, but that's okay. This should be enough. 
especially since it's, especially since it wasn't shooting at me. Holy shit! It's starting to pan out. You know what? I feel like that was a camera reference Zeke just made. Holy shit! Two injured civilians. Where? Are they still alive? Can I heal them? I can't find them. Okay, so we're just gonna head over here to our next mission, Desperate Times. Desperate Times call for desperate measures, right? I suppose that's what they're referencing. We And here we are. Alright, I think this marks a good place to end the episode. I'm just gonna go defuse this bomb because it's so close. Drain it! Okay. So, this has been Wayward Wind 911. If you enjoyed this episode, thanks, and have a great day.